There is no limit to inquisitive mind and perfection of knowledge. The Infinite Science program focuses on the latest scientific achievements, new developments and unique discoveries by Kazakh scientists. Infinite Science is an opportunity to see the future of science. Science in general is a world of knowledge and skill, a world which is constantly progressing and making discoveries. In the times of Aristotle, science included only 20 scientific disciplines, and today there are already 15,000 of them. What's more, the borders of the scientific world continue to rapidly expand. Hello, my name is Yerke Bulanbek Mohanbet, and you're watching Infinite Science. In today's program, utilization of solid domestic wastes, where to begin? Diagnosis of oncological diseases, the method of flow cytometry. Geoinformational systems, space technologies for earthly challenges. Each one of us, on average, throws out up to 300 kilograms of solid waste annually, and the number of dump sites on the planet is unimpededly growing each year. Waste utilization is an urgent task that is posed before our large cities across the world. In addition, the methods of recycling domestic waste depend a lot on their composition and their organized waste collection measures. In Kazakhstan, the issue of utilization of solid domestic waste is very timely, especially if we're talking about a large city like Almaty. All the garbage here is buried on polygons or dump sites. Such an approach is far from environmentally friendly. Today, scientists at the Institute of Ecology are studying the influence of dump sites in Almaty on the surrounding environment. Today, it is about time to do something in order to diminish the influence on the surrounding environment. First and foremost, this concerns the problems and management of utilization of domestic wastes. The task set for the first year of research is to study the largest dump sites in the city. Scientists obtain samples of soil, water and air from various parts of the dump site. After the analysis, quite depressing results were obtained. Almost everywhere there is heavy metals pollution. The heaviest amount of pollution across almost the entire territory and beyond is by arsenic. The content of arsenic in the soil exceeds the norm almost eightfold. Also high content of cadmium, zinc and lead were detected. Norm exceeding content of carbon dioxide was also revealed. In some parts of the dump site, researchers detected the presence of a toxic gas, acrolein, the content of which exceeds the norm by 250 times. This is the result of a process of disintegration, and there's probably some burial site of medicaments, and thus there is disintegration of glycerin. All the results show that the dump site is irreparably harming the surrounding environment. Scientists intend to continue studying the other dump sites in Almaty and to compile a map of pollution sources. The analysis of obtained data will serve as a basis for the further development of effective mechanisms of managing solid domestic wastes. First and foremost, this will entail a new policy for waste classification, as well as proposals for the construction of waste processing plants. Every time we receive with great hope news about yet another discovery of a drug that is able to treat malignant tumors. And in the meantime, we forget one simple truth. The earlier the disease is detected, the easier and faster can it be treated. That is why diagnostics of cancerous diseases is a question of life. The entire world scientific community is looking for a solution to this problem, including Kazakhstani scientists. Scientists at the Nazarbayev University, in collaboration with colleagues from Harvard University, are developing a new method for the diagnosis of cancer of gastrointestinal tract, including the large intestine. These organs are hard to reach and troublesome for diagnosis. There are the traditional methods, such as endoscopy, colonoscopy. They're quite invasive and painful. That is why, in order to avoid this, we just want to be able to take a person's blood and examine it. Cancer cells release so-called vesicles into the bloodstream of a person. These vesicles are present in the bloodstream of a healthy person, but their quantity in the blood of a sick person is much higher. These circulating microparticles are the subject of scientific research. We check the quantity, content, the basic components of the microparticles, analyze, characterize them, and identify as a potential biomarker. The idea to study microparticles as biomarkers is not new. 
The innovative aspect of the research of Kazakhstani scientists is that they've employed the method of flow cytometry. This technology allows to get more clear information about cell activity. A high-powered apparatus, a flow cytometer, is capable of investigating each individual cell in the bloodstream and analyzing it based on 21 parameters. The principle of its operation is based on the registering of fluorescent signals from each cell. We will take a sample of someone's blood, mark out the microparticles. There is a special method for that. Color the antibodies and they light up on our apparatus. The laser beam hits these antibodies and gives us information based on the colors of the samples. Subsequently, we can analyze this data. This device significantly improves the efficiency of the work of the scientists, the new method for the diagnosis of gastrointestinal cancer, and will allow patients to go through diagnosis analysis pain-free. What's more, it is possible not only to diagnose cancer in its early stages, but also to determine a person's predisposition to it. This gives them time to take the necessary measures and hence improve the chances of a good outcome. Exploration of space is not just a way to satisfy the scientific curiosity of people. The launching of various purpose satellites has provided scientists with many instruments that significantly simplify the solution of various practical tasks. One of such instruments is geoinformational system of technologies. Geoinformational system of technologies combine possibilities of Earth remote sensing and graphic visualization of space data. Such technologies carry great prospects for resolving various tasks in different fields. First and foremost, they are of great importance for the development of practical sciences – geology, geodesy, cartography, ecology and agriculture. The thing is that all technologies are based on traditional technologies. This is manually done drawings and manual collection of measurements, manual calculation and drawing of cartographic materials. Now modern technology is allowed to create digital geological maps in 3D format. This allows to obtain more information of various objects, to analyze and determine their practical value. Work in the sphere is being conducted in many scientific centers of Kazakhstan, including at the Kazakh Agrotechnical University. Today, its researchers are working on converting the old database of cardiographic data into digital format. We are scanning and converting these maps into digital format. As a result, we get electronic topographical maps based on this data, and then this data is compared with the data on the Earth remote sensing system. In the end, we get updated cardiographic information in an electronic format. The Earth remote sensing system within the framework of the GF informational system of technologies bears practically unlimited possibilities. With the aid of low orbital satellites, it is possible to observe the state of the surrounding environment, to realize cartography of hard to reach places, to conduct spatial exploration of mineral deposit fields, to design roads, to monitor agricultural territories and crop fields. Этот пиксель по степени своей яркости. This pixel, in terms of its degree of brightness, is divided into at least 250 ranges. Thus, depending on whether this pixel is brighter or darker, we can determine the state of this plant. Сказать, каково состояние этого растения? Today, Kazakhstan has two of its own satellites on the near-Earth orbit. This means in the near future, not only farmers, but also geologists, cartographers, geodetic engineers and ecologists will be able to use all the advantages of geoinformational system of technologies. Today, science is no longer a Pandora's box, and this concerns not only predictions which are becoming more accurate and detailed, globalization, integration, accessibility of scientific information. This is the reality of modern science. Whether this is good or bad is a topic for another discussion, but it is certainly clear that the world of science now has less and less borders. You are watching Infinite Science. My name is Irke Bulanbek Muhanbet. Until next time.